In the planning for school trips, the following activities were organised. The number of students that chose each activity is shown in the table below. So we've got activity chosen, the number of students, we've got museum, M, sports centre, S, yachting, Y. Uh, we've got the total here of being 120, so we've got 30 did the museum, 36 used the sports centre, went to the sports centre, and 54 went yachting. Now the most important thing is that a student can only choose one of the activities. If they go on that one, then it excludes them going on maybe the yachting activity. Or if they went on the sports centre, then it excludes them going on the museum or the yachting centre. OK, so we've got an idea excluding, and this sort of idea we're going to talk about in here is mutually exclusive. So we require the probability of M or Y. I've written that in red on purpose. So that's going to be 30 out of uh, 120 plus 54 out of 120. So that's going to be 84 out of 120, which is 7 out of 10. Now, we can uh, look at this using uh, a Venn diagram. If this represents the people who went to a museum, this represents the people who went yachting, the probability of M or Y in set notation is the probability of M U Y. So that's going to be the number in M union Y, so it's all those sh that blue green shaded bit and all the green uh, blue shaded bit divided by the number in the universal set which is everything here. All right, uh, so this is the number in M divided by the number in the universal set plus the number in Y divided by the number in the universal set, which is the probability of M plus the probability of Y. This is known as the addition law for mutually exclusive events. And what we mean by mutually exclusive, if they all went to the museum, then they cannot go on the yachting or the other or any other event for that matter. If they went on the yachting, they can't go on any of the events. So one event excludes the other event. They cannot go on both. If they went on both, then these would two sets here would intersect, which we'll look at in the next video. So the probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B. So the probability of event A or event B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B. And this is written as union. Okay, so the probability of A union B is the probability of A plus the probability of B. So, no, mutually exclusive means one event excludes the other event, i.e. both events cannot happen at the same time. Both events is two events. Both events cannot occur at the same time. Okay, so this has been a video to show you about mutually exclusive events and the addition law for mutually exclusive events. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.